Ready? Yeah. Alright, so let's go back to this asshole again. Uh, so, so do you really believe that the Celestians are causing the Grand Fall? That was fair, bro. Yeah, I know. You, you called her an asshole, No, bro. I'm talking about Rowan, because he's still bro. here. Of course, that's what King said. Fuck, man. Don't that's you think fair. it's strange that the barbarous Celestians are capable of doing something that Inferians can't do? Are you saying that the king is wrong? No, I'm saying you're douche. N no, of course not. I'll be on my way now. Goodbye. See you. Hey, you, wait. You're a douchebag too. I sense it. I can I feel, feel the vibrations of doucheness from you. Just like a social link <laughs> pops up. <laughs> Since the king isn't going to help us, I guess we have no choice but to do it ourselves. Yeah, I mean... Just I was it. afraid you were going to say that. Are you, Are you serious? serious? Let's collect greater caramels, then go to Celestia. Caramels? Right. We know that where the Bridge of Light is, the passage to Celestia. All we need to do now is to find the greater car caramels. I'm not going. Kiel, you are late. What are you doing? Uh, right. Say, why don't we go to the Port of Inferia and put the boarding pass to good use? Yeah, okay. Of course Bert, Bert, Bert. Bert! Abort! How do we level up in that one? Oh, well, it's because that's the Force of Temptation save. Ugh! What? Force of Temptation. Love the Oh man, it was so annoying. I don't know why this series has a tendency to give like really annoying dungeons at the very beginning. I don't know. At least it's better than. Uh, it'll never be as bad as Symphonia Show. I hate that. Remember that stupid bridge in Graces? The one where we had to like lower some bridge. Well, the... Oh, wall bridge. Yes, yeah. there we go. I hated that one too. A passage by the king. You, you can go ahead. Oh, piece of paper, what am I supposed to do? Kill ditches us. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm fair already, so it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I gotta take that away. This ship is bound for Barole. Barole. It's north of Imperia. It's a bustling trade city. Wait, isn't that a town in Graces too? No, that's Barona. Barona. Hell yeah. I got nowhere else to go. We'll be departing soon. You can just leave. So we get the area more. Kian, what are you doing? Did you forget something? What's the matter? I, I can't go. I forgot my name. What? What do you mean? Well, he's involved. Chancellor Manpurse is asking for my help to find the Bridge of Light. You can't be serious. You're gonna help with the war effort? You still trust them after what they did? And they did? Baiba! Baiba. It was my dream to work at the Royal Observatory. Fine, do what you want, Kiel. Ow, she fed up on him. Goodbye. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are we just going to let him go, Pharaoh? He's so close. What can we do? It's his life. Come on, we can do it on our own. No problem. True, we were fine without him. <laughs> Except for Undini. <laughs> oh, yes. We didn't even throw Undini. So I thought you want to be married? Huh? Um, I'm fine. Um, I'll just be Pharaoh for now. You want to be read? Oh, going to give us his equipment anyway? Fine. I got Eagle Dive, I'm good. Because I'm going to play as Rass. You know what the funny thing is? What? Is when you get the uh, vinyl leather, you can crash it. I wonder what Keel is doing. Mm -hmm. It's fun. His dreams came true. He's probably having a great time. Actually, I really doubt it. Me too. Marity, forgive him. Kiel also has things he wants to do. But for some reason, you won't let Reed do things he wants to do. Marity, already forgive him, but... Marity is Celestian, and so maybe Kiel will become my enemy. Honestly, I don't think... I think that Kiel wasn't really saying... He just said that it's his dream to keep, like... Mm, not keep all? a face or something. Like, he, I think he... Overall, he really just wanted to it's find the Bridge of Light, too. Yeah. <laughs> No? That's true. Kiel just wants to learn many things. He won't he be your enemy. Be your Trust enemy. him. Trust yeah, him. he can't fight on his own. No, he can't. He cannot. Hey, are you awake? I'm thinking. About? Don't hurt yourself. 
No. You know, he no, Reed doesn't come off like the idiot hero. Just yeah, he like, uh, just like really uncaring. Yeah, like he has complete disregard for everything until the third verse. <laughs> or, or food. Like, I, I never got the impression of him being like dumb. Actually, like, Kill does tell him that when he's like, hold on, I can think of something, and then Kill says, don't hurt yourself, Reed. <laughs> Mm. That was hilarious. Like, uh, a lot of the heroes, I don't really get the sense of them being really, really stupid. Like, Some Lloyd boy. is the only one that, like, <laughs> Lloyd was the first canonically, one he's su supposed to be dumb. No. He's clever, but he's dumb. Yeah. Or, no, he, he's street smart, but not book smart. Yeah. Well, I, I don't get the impression of Reed being book smart either, per se. But he seems to be a little bit more smarter. I think he's about as well level of intelligence. Yeah. I, I think the redheads have that certain level of intelligence in this series. They just stalk at a certain level perpetually. Mm hmm. That was a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it's the drunk guy on the roof. Okay. Oh mm -hmm. no, it's this. It's this area. There's nothing over there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we get to fight. Right. Solo Dance is good, Sonic Fist, Eagle Dive, Triple Blossom, Palm Strike, and go Sonic Fist, and yeah. No healing, I see. Ah! He didn't put any healing moves? I did not. Is that it? Ah. <laughs> we have enough money to buy healing items. We don't need to buy healing items for a flaw. Exactly. Well, lots of swords. Sauce. Everything looks so attractive. Especially that giant pot of meat. Meat? Oh, that's soup. Well, I think the shell's working on. What the fuck? Yeah. It looks good. Yeah, all those, like, yellow pixels. Yeah. It looks like, uh... It looks like fondue to me. Cheese fondue? Yeah. You're gonna get the drunk guy. I know, that's such a weird thing for the one who's to hide us. I know. Isn't he also like sake or beef? Stew? We already oh. had beef stew. Yeah, we did. Oh, it was something meat related. Almost every dish in this game. Except, uh. I don't know. The dark pot. Chicken. Dark pot. Just toss it over the fucking. Go get grass! Alright, let's do it. Best character in the game. Oh no, I bear is a fucking. Oh, is it that little kid that's a douchebag? Yeah, that's actually what is evil. No, I'm not going anywhere. Don't you think it's pathetic for a grown up to bully a kid? Fine, you do it. Does he say that? No. I, I would believe he did, though. need to me. He even has that annoying kid voice. He does. What are you doing? You remind me of somebody. Someone that's cute. <laughs> Jesus, but you combo him. Serves you right. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? what? You let him get away! That brat's a habitual thief! Oh, shit. The silly song. Huh? Oh, this is the song that plays in the freaking E3 but place. He's just. Bad kid. The one, the board game one? There's I hate a, that oh. stage. Oh my god. Oh, yes. What? It's like, going all crazy. That's right! We want payback! That's right! That <laughs> one voice. We can think of it. We can use you. Oh, I don't like where this is going. We're sorry, really. We just came into port. That's a lame excuse. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, true. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny it. it that was just awful. Employment is only to take effect when both parties are in accord. In other words, you can't force her to work for you without her consent. Well, at least Inferi has some rules that aren't stupid. Agreed. It's the king's law. Oh no, wait, there are some stupid rules. He's about to spout them out right now. Yeah. 
your crates are sticking out 1.5 lang into the public street. That's either three years in jail or a fine of 1,000 gol. I mean, it's a lot of gol. On top of that, a lot of time in jail. There are no defenses for such violations. Before you punish a child, maybe you should follow the law yourself. Okay, okay. Please, forget the. <laughs> Everybody just runs away. They're like, oh, fuck, we need to get out of here. My fucker can read. We're not interested in your pot! <laughs> oh, that's right, he does try to sell them a pot. Tune cool mood. Stay high since the febrile. Uh. Mmm. My name is Farah. Please, let us repay you somehow. I am Ras. That was, that was an amusing version. Why am I talking over them? Uh, they no talk, problem. I'm You're stupid! You're just addicted to voice acting. I am a terrible voice actor, but I want to practice at it. Reckless! Perfect for you. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. I was gonna say the same thing! It's perfect. Finally! A title in this game for me! <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Quickie? Yeah, look. He's oh eating. my god, he's devouring it! Yeah, he's eating a little cracker. Yeah, that is not a cracker. That is not a fucking cracker. That is huge for a freaking so cracker. Sad. <laughs> She's been that way forever. I'm so sorry for you. I'm so sorry for those around you. Oh, she's just getting shot on. Do you understand? Understand the trouble I have to deal with? So you, <laughs> <laughs> you understand? We can be friends. Friends. Nothing like this is how this is true as well. Rather right than nearly drown herself, barely swim to that. Well, that she felt sorry for Nate Bear kind of trap. Are you? Why do you remember all this stuff? Because I had to clean up after you every single time. He actually does. I enjoyed the meal. What have you done too? too. Um, you seem quite knowledgeable about the law. What is your profession, if I may ask? Pot. A pot? It's a double metal pot, made as a decoration for the royal family in the late Melnick civilization period. Normally 10,000 gold, it's now only 5,000 gold. I love the fact that the Melnick civilization is like called back and you know the Melnick language is still something that's used in this it's game. Relevant in future yeah. Games. Yes. I mean ancient Hispanian too, I guess, but it doesn't feel as much as like the Melnick language to me. Fifty thousand gold. <laughs> Jesus. You can do if that. you pay me fifty thousand gold, I'll show you the way to Silk, to Silk Cavern. I can't pay that kind of money. Well we can. See, that case I'll show you for free this time. I've been thinking of going back to Silk Cave again, again anyway. Thank you! So whatever we had said, we'll pay you. We're when you are prepared and ready, meet me in front of the inn. I'll be there. Ras. I've been wondering, what is that wonderful scent surrounding this town? Oh, that, that's the fragrance of the dawn. Is it the flower in Ras's hat? Yes, it's my favorite flower. Dawn. Well, I'll see you later. I wonder if it's possible to leave without him. No. No. Not that I'd want to. No, I, I get the feeling that, like, Meredith or Pharaoh would, like, stop you and be like, we should go meet up with Ras. In front of the end. Ras! Five! Watch out. What is this? this? It's the same light as you, read. <laughs> she that ropes animation. him again. Quickie, quickie. We'll find out what it is next time. Yes, we will. Okay, well, no, we're not, because right there she just said it. Ross has Fabriel, too. Let's go.